ご無事けどたまには一発やらせてくれんかのたまりすぎても破裂しそうなんじゃまあほどほどになで<笑>お前の処刑方法についてだな So it's the fourth week of RE Monster, and I just feel like this show cannot miss. Another fantastic episode. And here's the thing four weeks into RE Monster, if you're not digging it, if you're not feeling it, vibing with it, if, it's, if you're just like not really enjoying it, you're like still like,、mm, maybe I'll give it one more episode. My honest opinion, and again, don't listen to some guy, some Yahoo on YouTube. But if you were to take my opinion into account whatsoever, I would say at this point, four episodes in, if you're not vibing with this show or if things bother you, I would say drop it and don't watch it because there's much better things happening, much better shows out there right now that you could be giving your time to, which is precious, into some other piece of content out there. That's really my honest feelings. For everybody else, though, I think like this show cannot miss, and I really feel like it's just so entertaining. This episode alone, you know,、uh, we were able to, you know, our main character was able to not only recruit Cobalt at the end, already have elves kind of like in the waiting, right? So he has elves in the waiting now. So he has this interesting group of. Of different collectives that he that he has, right?、Uh, through a variety of different reasons, you know, they were called to him or, you know, they were drawn to him. And he was able to save the Cobalt. He was able to overcome the threat, the looming threat of the elves, because、uh, the elves are going to be going to war with the humans. And because of that, at the end of the episode, not only did we have、uh, Gabi say, or whatever her name is, say, the, the mage, she evolved. Uh, Rebellia, the red haired girl, she evolved. Even though she's a human, she evolved. And she got like, she, has, she earned a different job.、Uh, Gabachi, I think his name's Gab, Gabkichi. Gabkichi evolved into like an ogre species as well, just like Gabiru did.、Uh, so he evolved.、Uh, uh, you know, the alchemist, she didn't evolve, but she was able to create other additional things like booze, right? Gaburu, he continues to evolve and he was able to、uh, invent like,、uh, like walkie talkies, but through earrings kind of thing. So that was really cool. So just thing after thing after thing after thing keeps happening. And that's why I feel like the show can't miss is because like, it's constantly never getting comfortable with like one thing, it's always moving us forward. So like it, it moves us forward, he gains, he gains the taming ability. Then they tame like some unicorn thing. Then they tame a bear. Then they tame wolves. Now the wolves are going to be assigned to the human girls and they're going to protect them. The, the two twin girls,、uh, Alma and her twin or whatever, they're constantly creating new clothing items and new things and they're getting along with the other people in the tribe.、Uh, there's folks who felt inadequate and, you know, Gabiru or,、uh, yeah, Gabiru is just like, yo, okay, hey, I get it. Peace out. Here's a parting gift.、Uh, I wish you guys all the best. Everybody else who stayed, They're continuing to grow.、Uh, say the, the mage girl evolved into a lord. Okay, now he has a lord under his tutelage. And she, you know, obviously she looks better. You know, she looks more、um, like scary and she has tattoos on her. He's like, she's going to evolve into the next species, which is like a super lord or something like that.、Uh, a lot of the other surrounding goblins have continued to evolve as well, too. He now has another mage and he has a cleric, somebody who could be a healer among them. So they're continually you know, evolving.、Uh, the red hair was probably the most surprising because he spends time with her. And because he fed her monster meat and through her natural leveling up, she was able to level up you know, and get a new job or a new class. And now she's reliant on eating monster meat, which is plentiful and they do anyways. But now she has different like hunting abilities, which, you know, it's so the usefulness of this army or this town or the city or this whatever nation that he's slowly building, you know, this little group of people that he's building is now going to include elves, is now going to include kobolds, and could include different races later on.、Uh, I just think it's just so cool. And it's keeping me entertained. 
but it's also keeping me engaged with the show, which I think a lot of shows end up like getting to the next thing and then they kind of plateau. And then the good ones will then continue to on another thing, you know, whether it's another like event or battle or death or happiness or romance, it, they continue to another thing and then it plateaus again. And then, you know, this one though has just been like, you know, blip, 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 blip. It's like he, it's only been 55 days or I think that he's been born. And it's like, okay, here was him in his past life blip. Here's him as a baby goblin blip. He evolved. Here's him, you know, getting these, uh, you know, uh, female girls or whatever, and, you know, blip. Here's him getting these power blip, you know. Then here's his, you know, a blip and blip and blip and blip. And it's only been four episodes. It just continued on and on and on and on and on. Now, I understand that people who maybe are familiar with the source, source material, which I am not, um, I have seen a few of you guys in the comments say, you know, who are enjoying it, but have said, like, hey, I do think they're going kind of quick. At the end of the day, they only have 12 episodes to tell their story. So I don't mind the pacing because, again, I feel like I'm constantly engaged and we're not hitting that boom and then plateau and then boom. You know, I feel like I'm just like I'm constantly like there's there's something happening every three to five minutes. There's something, you know, something significant that's changing his life, changing the story, changing the circumstances constantly happening. And I really enjoy that. I'm, I'm really enjoying what they're giving me here. Like, this is one of my favorite animes this season so far. Easy 8.5 out of 10. You know, you can find faults in it, but, like, super, re like, really, really good. And I feel like people who are sleeping on this one who will watch it later on, whether they watch the dub later or the sub or whatever, I think I just think this one is just, it's a giver. And it just keeps giving. And I'm really enjoying my time with it. So, episode four, Are You Monster? Fantastic. Really enjoyed it. Uh, can't wait to see what comes next now that we have the Kobolds and the Elves. And then we have a war looming as well, too. So it's going to be very interesting. All right, friends, I'm going to see you guys next week for episode number five. Let me know your true thoughts in the comments below. All right, I'll see you then.